everyone. Welcome back to Snot Stew. We're on to chapter nine. So let's see what Snot Stew is. We learned in chapter eight that it's a game. So let's see what type of game it is. And your focus question for chapter nine is to explain what Snot Stew really is. So we'll have to really focus in on what is Snot Stew. And your vocabulary words are gripped and twitched. All right, so let's read. Toby and I had lived with the Burks about three weeks when Ben and Sarah first played Snot Stew. Ben and Sarah had just started off for a new place called school. So before we move on, let's think about our setting. So it's, if it's when school just started, what season do you think it is? When does school start? We know it's in September and September is in what season? If you said fall or autumn, you'd be right. Good job. Ben and Sarah fussed and griped and said they didn't want to go to school. So if you're fussing and griping, gripe probably means that you're complaining, right? Or you're saying why you don't want to do something. All right, let's keep reading. So I figured school was a bad place, but the first morning when they walked to the end of the road and a big yellow bus came to pick them up, Mother closed the front door and gave Daddy a big hug. Isn't school wonderful? She said. So we'll see there's a difference between the kids and the mother and father. So the kids are like, I don't want to go. And the mom and dad are like, ah, oh, they're off to school. This is wonderful. So I'm sure some of you guys have similar experiences at home. We can't wait to get back to school. All right, so let's find out what happens with Ben and Sarah. When Ben and Sarah got home, they talked and laughed about the neat things that happened at school. But the next morning, it was time to go again, and they'd gripe and fuss again. So, while I'm reading this, I'm going to show you the picture, or the illustration, because it might help you understand what's going on in the story. So I couldn't tell whether school was a good place or a bad place. Anyway, the house was really quiet when, with Ben and Sarah gone. When they came home in the afternoons, they were ready to play. Toby and Ben would play chase with the string or roughhouse each other. My Sarah would sometimes play rough with me. Usually we played people scratch. She would sit down in front of the TV and I would jump in her lap and she would scratch and pet me. I liked that. After we played a while, Ben and Sarah would have to do homework. They would lie down on the floor with their books and make scratchy marks on their paper with their pencils. Toby would lie in his chair and I would curl up in my safe place under the couch. One evening, while Ben and Sarah were doing their homework, Sarah picked up a pencil. Ben yanked it away from her. That's mine, he growled. Sarah frowned. It's not. Ben frowned back, is two, is not, is two, is snot, is two, snot, stew. My eyes flashed open. I stood up so fast my head hit the bottom of the couch. Stew? Did somebody say stew? I thought to myself, I love stew. I raced out from under the couch and charged towards the kitchen. It had been such a long time since we've had stew. I could hardly wait. Toby followed me. But when we got to the kitchen, there was no stew. There was nothing in our bowls, but stuff they called dry cat food. My whiskers twitched from side to side. There's no stew. Toby wiggled his whiskers too. What kind of deal is this? He meowed. They said stew, and there's none here. We waited in the kitchen for a while, thinking maybe Mother would bring our stew soon. Mother just kept reading her book. Finally, feeling sad and disappointed, we went back to the living room. It's not fair, I pouted. I love stew. They said stew. And, and, there's not any. Toby nodded. Yeah, Mama was right. You can't trust people things. That was really mean trick. The next morning, the next night, it happened again. Mother was doing some knitting. I played with the end of the string until mother finally started playing people scratch. Toby curled, curled up in daddy's lap. Daddy shoved him off. 
but Toby just crawled back again. Finally, Daddy decided to play People Scratch too. Mother was busy with her knitting, but she would stop every now and then to scratch me. It felt good just lying next to her. Mother was warm and soft. Everything was quiet. Everything was comfortable and nice. Then, Sarah got a piece of gum and started to unwrap it. Uh-oh. That's mine, Ben growled. Sarah gla glared at him. It's not. He glared back. Is too. Is not. Is too. Is not. Is too. Is not. Is too. Snot. Stew. I stood up as fast as my head knocked Mother's ball of yarn off her lap. It rolled across the floor. Stew! My eyes popped open. Oh boy, I thought, I love stew. I raced for the kitchen. All of a sudden, Daddy yelled, ouch! Toby had jumped off Daddy's lap and was racing after me. But when I got to the kitchen, our bowls were empty. There wasn't even dry cat food. Toby scooted up real close to me and looked back at the door. I think I'm in trouble, he whispered. <laughs> Why? When Ben and Sarah said stew, I took off so fast I accidentally stuck one of my paws in Daddy's leg. Mother and Daddy appeared in the window. Darn crazy cats, he growled. What the devil is wrong with them? Mother picked up her ball of yarn from the floor. Beats me. Maybe a mouse or something? I shook my head. No, it's the stew, I meowed. Ben said there was stew, and I can't find it. Only mother and daddy couldn't understand. They looked at us a while, then shook their heads and went back down to sit down. Toby twitched his whiskers from side to side. There's something wrong here. Before, whenever somebody said stew, there was stew. Now, there's nothing. What's going on? I flipped my tail. Right, before they say stew, one says snot. Maybe snot stew is different than regular stew? The next night, Sarah brought her doll with her when she lay on the floor with Ben to do homework. Her doll wasn't much help. It was dumb. It didn't even read her book, much less help her scratch the paper f with her pencil. From my safe place under the couch, I watched Ben very slowly. He snuck his hand across the floor. Then he got a hold of Sarah's doll's arm and scooted it back toward him. But Sarah caught him. That's mine, Ben pulled the doll's arm. Is not. Sarah stuck out her bottom lip. Is to. Uh-oh, here we go again. Is not, is to. Is not, stew. It's not, stew. It's not, stew. I thought to myself, not falling for that again. Only I couldn't help myself. I love stew. But this time, instead of running to the kitchen, Toby and I just walked. Again, there was nothing in our bowls. I don't understand, I told Toby. He looked back at Ben and Sarah. They were yanking the doll back and forth, yelling snot stew. Toby smiled. Daddy was reading a paper. He yanked it down, slapping it hard against his leg. You two, shut up, he roared. Either hush that or go to your rooms. Toby's smile got even bigger. What is it, Toby? I wondered. Why are you smiling? I think I figured it out, he answered. What? It's not stew. I think I know what it is. My eyes got real big. Really? What is it? Toby smiled confidently. It's a game. A game. Like pushy shove. I figured it out when we they were pulling the doll back and forth. Only instead of being called pushy shove, it's called snot stew. Okay, so the question was, what is snot stew? So the game is when people are fighting over something and they're pulling back and forth on it. My nose crinkled up on one side. You know, Toby, I think you're right. It's not stew at all. It's just another dumb game. Toby strode back toward his chair. I don't think, I don't know whether it's so dumb or not. Ben and Sarah seem to have fun playing it. They play it enough. They must like it. Frowning, I followed him. I don't know, Toby. It's a loud game. They always act mad and mean when they play. Toby flipped his tail. Looks like fun to me, he meowed. Tomorrow, let's play snot stew. I didn't really want to play, but Toby's my brother, and if he thought it would be fun, hmm. so I wonder what's going to happen when they try to play snot stew.
something to think about for the next chapter. And just remember your chapter focus question for chapter nine is explain what snot stew really is. So make sure you're using complete sentences for that explanation. Capital letter, subject, predicate, and stop sign. All right, have fun learning at home.